Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing the telephone book cover tag and I am super duper 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 uber excited because I've been seeing all of my booktube friends doing this tag. It's just like a really fun tag so I've been really wanting to do it but I was determined to wait until somebody specifically tagged me before I did it and I was beginning to wonder if anyone ever would but finally Amy from Pretty Little Paperbacks finally tagged me so thank you so much Amy for tagging me I was waiting for this moment so let me explain the rules so in the tag well okay since Amy tagged me where do I start with explaining this it shouldn't be this difficult so basically what I had to do was I had to pick 10 books and I had to relate each cover to the next so I would pick a book and then pick maybe an element from the cover and then pick another book cover like from that and then just like go on like that for 10 books. Since Amy tagged me, I'm going to take the last book that she chose for her video, which I'm going to put on the screen right here. I pick a book that somehow like relates to the cover or has like a similar element or colors or something and then I go from there and then I tag people at the end if that makes sense. I was actually going to film this video yesterday but this tag was a lot harder than it looks. Well, it's really not hard. I was just really overcomplicating things and making it hard because there's so many options and so many different directions you can go. And I was trying to like make it go a certain way so that I would get to talk about certain books. And so I was like, should I pick this cover or this cover for this book? Because if I pick this, then that means I can also pick this book. But if I pick that one, then I won't get to pick this book. But I also want this book. So I was really thinking hard about this one, trying to get like certain books. You know, I did the best that I could. So some of these books you've probably heard me talk about many times, but hopefully there's others that you don't remember me mentioning. So it'll kind of be like something new to talk about. So yeah, again, here is the cover from Amy's video that I have to go off of. And the book that I chose to go with this one is uh, Regency Brides by Kimberly Comeo and I don't know about you but I just think the covers are really similar. Um, the purple in the blanket in Amy's book matches the purple sky that's up here and then all of the like green and like the colorful like foliage. This orangey and yellow like bushes and stuff matches you know over here. There's four different novellas set in the Regency era. If you like Regency era romances and these were yeah, these are Christian stories as well. So if you're into that sort of thing, like, I would check this one out. I thought it was cute. Okay, so the element that I picked from this that I'm going to relate to another book is, I don't know if you can tell in the video. If not, I'll see if I can find a picture online and, like, give you a close-up of what I'm talking about. But along the bottom, and also at the top, but mostly at the bottom, there's like this like um, swirly like design. And so that made me think of The Huntress of Thornbeck Forest by Melania Dickerson because it also has like the swirly uh, decorative pattern along the bottom edge. This one is a Christian like fairy tale retelling. It's uh, inspired by the Robin Hood and the Swan Princess or something. I forgot. And it's set in medieval Germany. So I think this cover is gorgeous and I love this book. It's one of my favorites by Melanie Dickerson. So yeah. And then I went with her blonde braid and her arrows because I don't know if you can tell it's like a blurred out but you can see like the fletching. So yeah I chose that and picked this cover Lady Carlos and the Waters of Maru by Chuck Black because she has a blonde braid and she's also an archer and you can see her bow and arrow. So I love this book. It's one of my favorites in the Knights of Arathtray series. This is a Christian medieval fantasy. It has allegorical like truths and principles in it um, like from the Bible. I forget which allegories this one deals with but from this one I decided to go with the sword on her back and I picked The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien and I love this cover so much. I have the whole trilogy and these editions and I think they're gorgeous. I love the artwork on the front and this one is super cool so I love this one a lot because um, he's got his sword. This is like 
a high fantasy series with like magic and wizards. I'm sure you've heard of it, but for those of you who might not have, it's not like a Christian series really, but there's some like parallels there. Um, the author was a Christian and you can see the parallels in certain characters or events that you recognize from like the Bible and everything. So uh, I love this cover so much. It's gorgeous. But from this one, he's wearing a cloak, so I decided to go with the cloak thing. And I picked Reapers by Brian Davis because he is wearing a cloak. This is a Christian fantasy series. Would you call this an urban fantasy? Is that when it's set in like modern day, like in the city? Is that what that is? I forget all the details, but something's happened and like the souls of people that have died can't like escape the earth they're like trapped something is like blocking their way to the afterlife so these reapers have been like recruited and trained to gather the souls and then deliver them um to the gateway so that their souls can like you know go off and be at peace and go to the afterlife wherever that might be um but it is a christian series and it's a trilogy and i thought it was pretty interesting um the story had like its flaws but overall, I actually really enjoyed it a lot. It was really different. If you can see, this guy is holding a staff. So my next book is A Time to Die by Nadine Brandes because she is also holding a staff. This is also a Christian fantasy series. I love fantasy, in case you couldn't tell. It's a YA series. In this dystopian world, when people are born, they have like a clock that is like synced to them somehow. And the clock counts down and tells them when they're gonna die. And this girl, Parvin, she has a twin brother. And when they were born, they only got one clock between them and they don't know um, whose clock it is. And they've been having to like hide the fact that they only have one clock from like the government because if they found out, they'd be in big trouble. So this cover has numbers, represents like the clocks in the story, um, but there's numbers on this edge over here. So I picked for my next book, Replication, The Jason Experiment by Jill Williamson because he has numbers on his forearm, the tattoos. And this is also Christian YA and this is about like this girl, it's set in present day, and there's this girl that like recently moved to this new town and I forget the details, but she discovers this facility where these people are making clones of this guy named Jason and there's like a bunch of them and they're using them for like experiments or something. I forget exactly what's going on. She meets this particular clone named Martyr and befriends him and then she wants to like save him from this terrible place and to like expose this secret underground project that's going on. Okay so the next book I picked is Nightmare City by Andrew Clavin because there's like you see part of a guy you don't see his face but you see like part of him and like his arm right there and then this one is kind of the same thing you just see like half of this dude and like his arm but his face is cut off and stuff. And this one is YA action adventure like suspense kind of story. This guy Tom he is a reporter for his high school newspaper he wakes up one morning and like everybody is just like gone he's kind of like the only one in his town and the town is like blanketed in like fog and mist and there's like these monsters in the mist that like come after him and he's got to figure out like what's going on and figure out where everybody went and just like what is happening and i know this isn't like a review or anything but just for the record this isn't like my favorite book or anything i thought it was kind of like anticlimactic, but i thought it was okay so in nightmare city you can see in the background or maybe you can't i don't know all of this fog and mist so i went with the deception by laura gallier this is book two in the delusion series because this guy is out in the woods and it is very foggy and eerie looking this series is about a teenage guy who named owen who can see into the spiritual realm and he sees angels and mostly demons and the way they torment and entrap you know the people around him and he's wanting to free his town because there's a real like heaviness over his town and there's like a lot of suicides and a lot of things going on and he's the only one that can see it so he's trying to help um his friends and family before it's too late the deception wasn't my favorite in the series but like if you're into spiritual warfare i highly recommend this book it really makes you think this series does and i think it's really good and i think it was really well done i think owen is like really like relatable character like he has issues he has struggles he has sin and he's just like a real guy trying to like figure things out christian series by the way if that wasn't apparent 
In this cover, you see this guy who's just a silhouette. So I went with Tyra by J.L. Knight. It's a short story in the Ilion Chronicles. I had to find a way to fit the Ilion Chronicles into this video. I almost thought I wasn't going to do it, but I did. This series is a medieval Christian like non-magical fantasy series. Jace is one of the characters and Tyra is his pet wolf and this is a story of how he came to be in possession of her. So yes, this is book number 10. This is the one that I am ending my video with. So now I have to tag some people and the people I tag, if they end up doing this tag, they have to take this cover, find a book of their own that like relates to it somehow, like I've been doing in this video, and then pick like 10 books and go from there. So it's a super fun tag. I was really happy to do it. Thank you again, Amy, for tagging me. I'm going to leave a link to her video down below and it, the original creator. If I can find it, I'll leave their video link down below. So many people have done this already. I'm not sure. It was kind of hard trying to find who had done it already and who had already been tagged and who hadn't. But I tried to look around a little bit. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Hopefully someone else will tag you. Or you can just like use this book and go off of that. But I'm going to tag Chloe from Always Booked, Alicia from For the Love of Christian Fiction, Lindsay from BFCG, and Sarah from Sarah's Tangled Tales. Tagging y'all, um, I would love to see you do this if you would be so inclined. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you've like read any of these books and your thoughts on them or like if you have any thoughts on like the book covers themselves because I just love talking about book covers and admiring beautiful covers. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Bookish Romance video. Bye!